Hey guys, it's Melanie. Um, Lillian is not in the video today because she's behind the camera filming. Thank you, Lillian. Um, I have my friends Josh and Rose here. They both served missions, which is what we're talking about today. So um, why don't you guys just introduce yourselves a bit? You first. Yeah, so I'm from Houston, Texas, and I served my mission in Norway. I am from Elko, Nevada. I served my mission in Germany. Awesome. All right, so starting off with missionaries, I'm gonna start with the Google definition. It says that a missionary is a person sent on a religious mission, especially one sent to promote Christianity in a foreign country. And a mission is the vocation or calling of a religious organization, especially a Christian one, to go out into the world and spread its faith. Obviously a lot more logistics. This is a missionary handbook, so a lot more stuff in it. But I feel like it's more important to talk about the why of missions than the what. Like if you want to learn more about the what, we'll have lots of links in the description, lots of things that you can learn about. Basically, a mission is two years for guys, one and a half years for girls, and they just go around sharing um, our religion with people. So why don't we talk about why now? In the missionary guidebook, it, the first paragraph says, you are surrounded by people you pass them on the street, visit them in their homes, and travel among them. All of them are children of God, your brothers and sisters. God loves them just as he loves you. Many of these people are searching for purpose in life. They are concerned for their families. They need the sense of belonging that comes from the knowledge that they are children of God, members of his eternal family. They want to feel secure in a world of challenging values. They want peace in this world and eternal life in the world to come, but they are kept from the truth because they know not where to find it. So basically it's saying that everyone deserves to hear something that will bring them happiness, right? So that's kind of the reason about missions. So Rose, why don't we start with you, talk about a little why you went on a mission. Um, so I have always wanted to serve a mission as long as I can remember. Um, part of that is probably because both of my parents went on missions and they would talk about that and I could tell what an influence it had on their lives. Um, but as I got older, it and the gospel and my faith started to mean a lot more to me. I came to a point where I realized that I have this incredible truth that brings me so much joy and peace and guidance, and I wanted to share that with people. Um, and the decision to go on a mission was something that I, I prayed about a lot. I wrote pros and cons lists. I um, took it very seriously because I knew it was going to have a big impact on my future and on the people that I maybe would teach. Um, and so ultimately I went on a mission because I knew it was what God wanted me to do and I knew it was the right thing for me to be doing. All right, awesome, thanks. Now your turn. Thanks. So for me, it's a pretty similar story. There was never really any doubt about whether or not I was going on a mission growing up. Um, for me personally. Both my parents served missions, and it was especially fun to hear my dad talk about his mission. But as a child, I I thought of it as kind of like, oh, a fun kind of vacation thing where you get to go and learn a new language, you get to see a country, because that was all I, I thought about. But when I got older, I realized that there was more. And when I was around 16, I I really needed to find out if the church was something that I was going to really devote the rest of my life to because it's a lifestyle. It's not just like membership in a, in a club. It really is a lifestyle. And I studied in the scriptures. I studied um, other works. I prayed. I went to church. And eventually I just developed a a feeling, a really strong feeling that God loved me. And I knew that he loved everybody else too. And I could see really clearly that the gospel helps people be happy. The, the lifestyle I have helps me to find happiness. And it's a happiness that, that I believe is going to last for forever. It's not temporary, it's something eternal. And so in that instant that I realized that I had something so awesome, I just knew I needed to share it. And that was when my reason for serving a mission changed. And that was when it became something really powerful. Awesome. 
Thanks, Rose and Josh. Now I'm going to talk about, I have not gone on a mission, so mine is a little different, but I am planning on going on serving a mission. So um, I'm just going to talk about like something a lot of people ask me is, um, why would you give up one and a half years of your life to go and do that? And so um, here's the way I like to think about it is when you get into, like, say you get into college, or it's your birthday, or something happy and exciting happens to you, you tell everyone, right? You text your best friends, you post it on Facebook, whatever you like to share with people, because it's something that's important to you and makes you happy, and you want them to know about it and be happy about it too. And so going to church every week and living the gospel and reading the scriptures, that stuff makes me happy that way. And so I want to share it with everyone. And that's kind of what I feel like a mission is to me, is sharing happiness with people. And I want to be able to do that so that they can find joy in their lives like I do. Well, when I think of the word sacrifice, it doesn't have any negative connotations. When you sacrifice something, you're always sacrificing it to get something greater in return. Like making an investment, it's, I mean, it's a sacrifice, but you get something more valuable back. And so when I, when I look back on two years that I spent in Norway, I, I got something that money can't buy that I wouldn't have been able to get any other way. I met people, I had experiences that have shaped who I am and will continue to shape the rest of my life. And you just can't get that any other way. For me, I have to agree that sacrifice has come to have a meaning that is so so positive. It's giving something to God so he can give you something better or make you something better. Um, and yeah, I gave up some stuff to go on my mission. I gave up a full ride scholarship to a university that I really wanted to attend. And I gave up um, time with my family and I missed some pretty important milestones. But the things that I experienced and who I became and the people that I met are so much more to me than those than the stuff that I left behind or missed out on. Um, so I would say that going on a mission maybe it's it's hard and it can be hard to look at the things that you feel like you're giving up or leaving behind but I know that God will make it worth your time when you do it with a pure heart with real intentions. I just wanted people to listen. Um, I, because the gospel is so important to me and I know how much joy it can bring. Um, and I met so many people from all over the world in Germany, from so many different religions and beliefs and classes and creeds. But I just wanted to have real honest conversations with people um, to share what what I believe and what I love and to have them share what they know um, and hopefully come away both a little bit better. Um, some of my favorite conversations were with people who ultimately didn't end up pursuing the gospel but who took the time to respect and to listen to something that meant a lot to me. Yeah, I agree a lot with that, that I really wanted people to to think about what I was saying and consider it, at least for a moment, and think about how they feel, honestly reflect over their lives. Because I think in today's world, we don't do enough of that. There's so much going on. We have so many distractions and technology and social media that we don't take time to watch a sunset and think about how our lives are going. or think about our families and what they mean to us. And when, when I would ask people those types of questions, they, um, the ones who, who would actually think about it, it, it became a positive experience for them. They always were grateful for, for the time that they took to talk with me, but there were also other people who just didn't think they had time to think about it. But I, I know that a more mindful life is a happier life if we take time to be grateful and to, to think about who we are, where we're going.
Mine would be, righteousness is joy. In three words, I would say the gospel is love, joy, eternity. It's hard. I would include <laughs> love. Hard. I would include love, but I would also include... Um, I'd include family. Mm-hmm. And I think that's especially important to know with our relationship with God. Like a lot of people think of God as some kind of mysterious energy or like a, an in, incomprehensible being that that's the creator but he and, he and he is our creator but he's also our father and he created us because he he loves us and he wants us to be happy and he wants to communicate with us and that's something that a lot of people don't understand about God and I think it gets in the way of them having a really valuable relationship with God. So thank you so much for Rose and Josh being here. Um, That was our video. We hope you learned something about missionaries. And if you want to learn more, again, please contact your local missionaries because that's what they're there for. And we have all this stuff in the description that you can look at. And also, if you would comment, something you want to learn next week's video is going to be about Mormons and Christianity and the Book of Mormon. So if there's anything about that that confuses you particularly that you want to learn more about, comment and we'll try to cover it. All right? Thank you.